this Mandrobot set is really, really amazing stuff, but I don't think the scientists that have been working on it quite understand what they've discovered. Basically, this is an explanation of the smallness of, of our experience, which is our DNA, which is the smallness of what makes us who we are, and then it goes into the bigness of our experience, the universe. And, and they're both the same thing. They're both identical. And you can kind of see this if you understand this Mandrobot set. This has been really exciting for me to find because this is something that I've seen since I was a child. I, I see patterns everywhere. And nobody else sees the same thing as me, so people think I'm crazy. So I've had to find the sciences that say, see, there it is. It's not just me. There is a pattern. Every single thing in life has a pattern. And if you can see these patterns, then you can make a difference. You, you, you have more awareness of what's going on. And this is, um, has a lot to do with what I was dealing with since uh, my life experience was filled with abuse. My drive and passion has been trying to understand how to break the cycle of abuse. So I've had to really understand this pattern that I've been seeing. We all know it's there. There's, you know, famous terms that there's a cycle of abuse. And what I've seen, what I've observed is both my grandfathers were abusive, my father was abusive, I married an abusive man, and I'm starting to see some of my children develop, I mean, they're walking and talking exactly like people from my past. And I didn't raise them this way. Something has happened that, and they're not communicating with me. They, you know, they do not want to hear. You probably have had that experience yourself where a lot of people aren't listening to you. You have something to say, but, you know, the other side of whatever war you're on, they are not communicating with you. And there's a reason for that. And this is why I'm motivated to post a lot of the science that explains what's going on with our reality. And this Mandrobot set, if you can understand this, it can really make a major shift in your life. Um, you have to understand an awful lot of other things, though understand we do have the science that cures all illnesses that solves every problem known to the human experience but we have to recognize our own personal patterns so when you view this mandrobot set view it from the perspective without time you'll see these patterns appear to be moving and moving fast but really try and remember when you're watching the, these clips that it's just one picture and the movement is just what it appears like when we're going into the pattern and starting to see what makes up the fine lines of this image. So there's like the main image is everything and if you look on the outs, ed, outer edges, it's like the chaos that's holding everything together and the chaos is actually the same thing as the bigger picture. So when you, you look at this picture going down, just sort of you know let yourself know that this is what time is. This is our perception of time is the movement of looking at something. But kind of recognize it's all there it's all happening at once it's all sort of our now it is the smallness and the bigness of things and nothing's moving it's all happening at the same time time is just an illusion so enjoy the clip and i'll have some comments along the way This is the Mandelbrot set, one of the most beautiful and remarkable discoveries in the entire history of mathematics. Yet it was discovered as recently as 1980.
The invention of the silicon chip in the 1970s created a revolution in computers and communication and hence transformed our way of life. We are now seeing another revolution which is going to change our view of the universe and give us a better understanding of its working. I'm Arthur C. Clarke. I write science fact and science fiction. You may know my movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. I've seen some remarkable developments and inventions in my lifetime. But one of the most extraordinary is the Mandelbrot set and fractal geometry. This film will explore the fractal universe and on our voyage of discovery will be helped by Professor Ian Stewart of the Mathematics Institute, University of Warwick and author of over 100 published scientific works. Dr. Michael Barnsley, former professor of mathematics at Georgia Institute of Technology who received a two and a half million dollar government grant in 1991 to develop fractal image compression systems. Professor Stephen Hawking, the mathematician and cosmologist and author of the best-selling book, A Brief History of Time. And finally, Dr. Benoit Mandelbrot, whose unorthodox mathematics led to the discovery of the Mandelbrot set and fractal geometry. I first saw the Mandelbrot set uh, somewhere in the mid-80s. I remember it quite clearly. Uh, we were at a mathematical conference on something totally different and everyone went along to this exhibition because it was mathematical pictures and there were these amazing coloured pictures on the wall and I'd really not seen anything like this before. It's not easy to describe the Mandelbrot set visually. It looks like a man, it looks like a cat, it looks like a cactus, it looks like a cockroach. It's got little bits and pieces that remind us of almost anything that you can see out in the real world, particularly living things. So it has a, a character that reminds us of a lot of things and, and yet it itself is unique and new. The Mandelbrot set is real, an absolute thing, no question whatsoever. Any mathematician or any computer scientist or student in a school can study it and find the same, describe the same thing. It's a common experience. And so such things that can be magnified forever and have infinite precision do exist, but they're not it's a geometrical shape, an, an icon, if you wish, which somehow embodies as an example a very important aspect of how the world works. Somebody recently actually called this set the thumbprint of God. Now we'll begin our serious exploration of the Mandelbrot set, a voyage which, in fact, could last forever and ever, much longer than the lifetime of the universe. I have here the full set, about six inches across. Now, if I blow this up, I'll increase the magnification now 13 times, and you see more and more detail is appearing. And the interesting thing is you see mini Mandelbrots, replicas, almost identical, yet perhaps subtly different of the original set. And I can go on doing this. Here is a magnification of more than 3,000 times. So the original picture, about six inches across, is now half a mile across. And no matter how much we magnified it, a million times, a billion times, until the original set was bigger than the entire universe, we would still see new patterns, new images emerging because the frontier of the M set is infinitely complex. And when I say infinitely, I really mean that. Most people, when they say infinitely, they mean only or rather big, but this is really infinity. Infinity. 